What's up guys? Today I'm here at Rig for Dirt. It's our first Saturday's event every morning, first Saturday of each month at Coffee Dose in Laguna Hills, California. And we get some really nice rigs that show up, including Gary's over here. Good, good <laughs> to be here. Thanks, Ollie. Uh, Gary Wells, um, work for Liberty Company Insurance. We specialize in the off-road overlanding community and uh, just happy to be here. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for having me. Dude, I, I saw you pull up, or I pulled up and I saw your vehicle and I was like, Holy crap, we got a Defender that actually has had some work done to it, which you don't often see because these are fairly new vehicles. Right. So can you kind of start walking us through overall, like what you've done? Or I've seen a lot of things between the exterior and the interior of this vehicle. Yeah. So let's go take a walk around this and let's see, uh, let's see how much money you've dumped into this thing. <laughs> <laughs> got a Rhino 4x4 front end and Rhino 4x4 winch that I put on uh, from Australia, company out of Australia. Uh, the, the Defenders come with 20 inch wheels stock, uh, not ideal for, for being off-road. So I went down to an 18, which is the smallest you can go, put on 35s. Um, got a two inch lift on it. I'm gonna lift it another two inches. Uh, got some lucky eight, lucky eight rock sliders um, on there. Uh, added the snorkel, uh, got a Lucky 8 uh, light bar up top there with uh, Baja Designs LP9s, love those lights, they're fantastic. Uh, threw an eye camper on the top, great tent, easy up, easy down, uh, up in a minute, down in a minute, uh, love that tent. Uh, took out the third row seat, these come with third row seat which is you know, if you got little kids, it's great, but, um, you know, it's just me and the wife, so I took out the third row seat. Let's take a look at that. Is it a mess? Nope. So took that out, built a panel hill. Here I've got a full Red Arc uh, dual battery management system, uh, inverter, uh, built a custom panel here so I can run my fridge off that. I can, uh, I've got lights hooked up to it. Uh, Got, uh, so that's your switching panel too? Yep, got solar, shore power, 110, a couple of USBs, a couple of 12 volt pull out kitchen, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, got an area to set up the stove. Cutting board, sink. Oh, sink, everything. And then the fridge slide for my ice cold fridge. And the kitchen sink. Yep, yep. And then the fridge comes in and out. Yep. Looks like. Yep. Fridge slides out. That is rad. And then is that a table right there on your? Uh, yeah, that's a just a little table if we just want to cook. Usually a coffee. Yep. Use the. Uh, oh, this is one of the most indispensable items I think at camp is having that little yeah. tailgate table. Yeah. Throw the jet boil on there yep. in the morning. Fire up some French roast. It's perfect for that. You have a mounting system, I guess, up front. Yeah, or... yeah. So there's a, a speaker cover, and there's a guy, Saltec Motorsports, that makes a mole plate uh, where the speaker cover is. So it's where I can put my GoPro, my radio on the other one. Uh, and then I've got one for a, a laptop as well if I uh, want to use my uh, GPS. So is this the stock roof rack that comes on the Defenders? Is yeah. this like an option? Stock roof rack. Of course, gotta have your shovel. Gotta have the shovel. Recovery on top. Very, got very all the, cool. Keep all the recovery system. gear in here. So is this this is another one of their options? Yeah. For... Yep. Yep. So. Great for keeping your toe toe straps, uh, kinetic ropes, all uh, from uh, Rhino USA. Um, nice handy spot so you don't have it planking around in the back. And is this a wrap? Yeah. Okay. So the little scratch marks we don't have to worry too much about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if, if you don't have a, if you don't have some pinstriping, you're not using it properly. Dude, bitch and rig. Thank you so much for sharing it with us Absolutely. and just being part of the community. You really bet. appreciate having you here. You bet. And uh, yeah, if you want to check out more about Gary and his build and his adventures, where can they find you? Uh, Defender 110 Overlander on Instagram. Awesome. See you guys. More to come.